just most recently in the past year, our Academy of Otolaryngology in this country uh, issued um, practice guidelines that really uh, encouraged us to avoid over-treating with antibiotics uh, because of the resistant organisms, because of the side effects of antibiotics on that individual um, when it's not noted to be as beneficial. So we, we have significantly, as a practice, uh, and as a specialty, backed off on the regular uh, aggressive use of oral antibiotics. So oftentimes when I see kids that have come in and they've had three or four rounds of antibiotics, um, I generally back off and either just determine whether or not they need tubes at that point or we can just uh, sit back and let let them uh, uh, resolve spontaneously. So if it's been three months or more, generally speaking, at that point, we say this is probably a chronic situation that's not going to go away, and so tubes uh, address that problem. And, and this is a, a short procedure that's done under a general anesthetic. Uh, it's quite safe and simple. Um, there's a mask anesthetic that's administered. There's no IV, no breathing tube. It's a quick in-and-out procedure. Uh, I often tell parents it's easier on, on me and the child than it is on them because, technically speaking, it's the easiest thing we do. The child's asleep and it's fairly painless, and, um, and so the parents are just the, the ones that are anxious over it. 